All right, so the Padres, they lose in the series finale. Man, that was a long rain delay wait just for that. The Padres, there were a couple spots where they could have won that game. They blew a couple leads. Blake Snell pitched tremendously well, goes seven innings. Best start of the year, probably. Didn't walk anyone in those seven innings. 85 pitches, strikes out 12 guys. He was great. I think he had nine strikeouts through four innings, something like that. He was really good. This was like Cy Young Blake Snell. And he gets pulled after 85 pitches. Personally, at that time, and I'll talk about this more on the show here in a little bit, live on YouTube. At that time, I was like expecting Bowmel. Yeah, okay, Snell. I was hoping five, six innings, get that out of him. It's Coors Field. He hadn't done well at Coors Field uh, going into this. You have some fresh guys in the bullpen, get them some work before the off day. Like maybe that was what Bowmel was thinking. And I don't know what uh, he has. He hasn't talked to the media yet as I'm saying this right now. So I don't know his explanation for taking Blake out, but all the fans that are pissed off about Blake Snow being taken out after 85 pitches, I definitely understand your frustration. And like, you definitely have a point. Um, you already had Hayter used, right? He wasn't going to be used for three straight days. So you had someone pitch the eighth, it was Garcia, and he ended up giving up the lead, obviously. Who was going to pitch the ninth? Like, you, you didn't know the question about that. So, yeah, those that wanted Snell to continue pitching, you definitely have a case. Only at 85 pitches, like, this was his good start at Coors Field, like, let him ride it. You know, if he loses, well, he was pitching really good. You welcome yourself into getting second-guessed and all that. Um, when you take Snell out of the game, obviously, if you're Bowmill, uh, because now if it doesn't work out, well, there you go. You're going to get a lot of questions asked post game and it didn't work out. You know, Luis Garcia, you know, Bowmill people blaming Bowmill of taking Snell out like Garcia, he was going to get into this game. I was saying that on the pregame thoughts. He was going to get in this game. It was just a matter of when he hadn't pitched yet in this series. They activated him off the IL the Padres, they signed him to be one of the higher leverage guys. He was that last year. And so what are they supposed to do? Not pitch him when there's multiple relievers that are down? Like, for me, this is more on Luis Garcia not covering first base, right? Because he gave up a home run. But okay, if you cover first base and that's an out there before that, the game's not tied. It's a one-run game. So he should have just covered first base. Right, and maybe we're not mad at Bowmel. Maybe they end up winning the game. I don't know. Um, in the ninth inning, I know Cosgrove he gave up that home run. That was his first earned run that he's allowed. So I can't be too pissed off at him. I'm not pissed off at Bowmel for going with Cosgrove, sticking with Cosgrove. By the way, in that ninth inning, because it was it was the matchups. It was a left-handed uh, hitter at the plate, McMahon, lefty on the mound in Cosgrove. So you just go left on left, and then they were going to bring in Nick Martinez, which I was fine with. I wasn't expecting him to pitch again. I think that would have been three straight days in a row. But I understood why they did that. Like, I was fine with that. Snell, again, him getting pulled after seven innings. I get people wanting him to continue pitching, but he'd already given them seven solid innings, and Gar they wanted to have Garcia pitch, I think. Uh, and Snell did his job, so now it's on the bullpen, and ultimately... The bullpen didn't do its job, and it wasn't the most convincing offensive performance either, to be honest, right? Like, Kim ended up scoring on a wild pitch to take the lead, so a lot to discuss on the show, obviously, this Rocky series, uh, what's coming up for the Padres, so be there.